Good day, my friends, and welcome back once again to Brotherhood of the Bat Collectibles. My name's Chris. I'm the Batman Statue Collector right here on YouTube, and I have a very, very special unboxing and review today. This is an incredible gesture from collector Jimmy G, who reached out to me and said, Hey, Chris, I have this incredible Batman statue. This is from Todd McFarlane, of course, who has done just a tremendous amount of figures here lately, but this is a statue. And he said, Hey, I want to reach, I want to reach out to you. I want to send this to you. I want you to review it and I want you to give it away here on the channel. So that's exactly what we are going to do. Now this is something that I actually searched for for quite some time. Uh, right at the time the Batman was coming out, I couldn't find it. Now this is the incredible Batman, uh, but it's black and red. It's absolutely incredible. It's very, very stylized. It's very stylistic and it's really, really cool. So I wanted to kind of show you this first. Again, it's got kind of a clear packaging. Obviously it's got some great Batman art and logos. Of course, you have that great Jim Lee art there on the back. Again, just a very, very cool package. And then, of course, you have that clamshell at the top. Another thing that I want to say off the bat, too, is Jimmy not only sent this, but he also sent this incredible care package to my son. Uh, Ledger absolutely loved it. So, again, thank you so very much. That was above and beyond. It was so awesome of you to do that. So, anyway, this is really cool. I'm going to get my uh, bat knife here, and let's go ahead and rip into this thing, okay? So, we have... Uh, it's kind of like a diamond select deal. It's got the, the, um, you know, the little stickers that hold it together. So we're going to slice right through that. There are four of those. So this is really cool. Of course, the Batman, still a big, big hit in my, in my opinion. I absolutely love it. Um, and so did most of you. I think that if you're watching this, you probably really enjoyed the film. And again, this was a very, very sought after piece. So I'm going to be real careful with this because again, I am going to be giving it away, which I cannot wait to do. And again, this is a, a phenomenal figure. <laughs> Look at this backdrop. Isn't that cool? Look at that. How awesome is that? And it's got the Batman logo on the back. It's kind of like a, a heavy duty cardboard. I don't know if that is, uh, you know, for you to be able to display it or not. So I do have to kind of rip into this again. Um, I'm not sure if anybody's going to actually want the packaging anyway. So we'll rip into it. There we go. So there's a couple of clips here, and I'm guessing the clips are going to be to hold up that background. There's also a really cool card here. This is really cool. So you got the uh, the Batman card with the Batman logo on it. That's really awesome. So that's cool. Again, Jim Lee art. And then we have this really cool base kind of a look at what it looks like there it also has the great gargoyle on the front and the cool thing about it is and again I'll show it to you a little bit closer with the review but um, it's got a little bit of red on there which is awesome because in it again it uh, kind of balances out the statue the aesthetic of the statue um, there is a band here holding this on and it's below the cape so we've got to do some de-twisting here. We got a de-twist. It's not going anywhere. Well, if you came into clamshell noise, you're uh, in luck. Jeez. Come on, McFarland. Gee, many Christmas. That was nuts. Wow, this looks really cool, actually. This is really neat. I can see why so many people wanted to collect this thing. It really looks awesome. Uh, it does mount, uh, there's two foot pegs. So I will mount that on here. Oh, that's really cool. Now this is a very, very heavy duty like PVC material. And then obviously it's got these little clips here that uh, will hold up the background as well. So I'm gonna put those together which is awesome. So again, you just kind of get that effect right there where it's, uh, you know, you, you can put the backdrop and then the statue right in front of it if you so chose, like in your display or whatever, it's really neat. Um, this is really cool. Again, I, I didn't know if it would be polystone or not. Um, it is a, a heavy duty material. It's, again, it's a very deluxe stylized figure, basically. Um, there is articulation, actually the arms move. Um, the hands you can rotate around, so you, you can kind of pose it a little bit. Let's see if the head turns. The head does not turn, but again, it's based off this incredible Jim Lee art. 
just like uh, Prime 1 did. But again, this is McFarland Toys, obviously a greater price point for sure. So anyway, uh, without further ado, let's get into the review. All right, guys, so I have them here set up on the table, and look at that. It's very, very cool. Again, it's very stylized. I love the black and the red. Lots of great detail, um, and again, it's a great budget piece from McFarland Toys. Um, definitely won't break the bank like some other companies, that's for sure. So um, I have a light shining on this, so again, bear with me, guys, but I did want you to see some of the details. So obviously, you have a gargoyle up front with some wings on the side, which is really cool. You know, some red elements there, some like red brush strokes, which is great, and then you have this great kind of cobblestone texture. Again, this is all PVC, a heavy PVC, as is Batman. He is a heavy-duty piece not resin but still really cool um, as we go up the figure you're going to see again really great detail but see those reds are highlights again it's taken just directly from the art you notice some great texture right there some great paint applications you see a little bit more on this leg because he's got the grapple gun he also has the hook here the utility belt you notice the red on the utility belt the way it is it's very very cool and then you go down into his boots. Again, it's very dark. Um, you have a hand here that can rotate. So if you want to pose it a little bit. Um, you also have those great gauntlets, which is great. And again, these are part of the grapple gun. Those elements. Very, very cool. Uh, you notice the cape. The cape is kind of a flexible uh, PVC material. Um, it's... Uh, you know, it's lightweight, but still thick, if that makes sense. It's not super heavy duty, but it is pliable. Uh, it is kind of like a rubbery material, uh, but it has that red on it. But again, you can see the really great detail on the back, which is great. Again, for something this price point, it's always nice. And again, that great kind of that brush stroke effect, which looks really great. So again, it really stands out on the sides where you have that red coming through. Um, then as you actually go up the figure, you're gonna notice again, that hand does uh, move a little bit. There's a little bit of give on it. Again, I'm sorry, I'm doing it one-handed here. Um, and then of course you again have the, that gauntlet. You can see the gauntlet pieces here. Again, very, very cool. And then the elements on the chest. I love the weathering. You know, it just looks very gnarled and gritty. Like he has been vengeance for quite some time, at least two years. Um, but the, just the color red, the strokes are really quite impressive. I love the outline of red on the bat single, symbol. And then, of course, we have that face sculpt right there. So I'm going to kind of tilt this up a little bit so you can see. Um, you know, it's not the greatest portrait in the world, but again, it is a stylized, sculpted. I mean, you're not going to get a ton of Robert Pattinson in that. But I do think it is very, very cool. And again, you have the red um, on the ears, as you can see. Uh, you can see the stitching there on the top, just like the movie. And again, it just looks awesome. I mean, look at that. Look how cool that looks. It just looks so, you know, dramatic, dynamic. It's very, very well done. Again, let me kind of spin it here for you guys. Again, so you can kind of see the side profile. Again, there's not a lot of bells and whistles to it, but it just looks freaking awesome. And I, I'm just so excited to give this away. And again, thanks, Jimmy, for this. It's really a cool piece. And then, of course, you also have that backdrop that comes with it. Uh, you also have the Jim Lee card right there and the little stands, the little plastic stands, as you guys can see. And then if we actually turn this around, it's got that great Batman logo. So if you didn't want the red, you can still kind of display him in front of the logo if you want or him kind of off to the side like that kind of whatever you want to do but i think it's really neat kind of show you again the detail um the cape you know you can, you can kind of see underneath if you want to see the back side here again fully sculpted a lot of great detail i can see the boots a little bit better now with some better light but it's just really, it's just a really fun piece. And again, I could see why this was so sought after. Again, I know for a while there it was impossible to find it. Maybe it's sold out at this point. I'm assuming it probably is. But if you can find one, or if I can find the link for you guys, again, I'm going to have to check. But it's really neat. I think it's really awesome. Again, thanks, Jimmy, for sending it to me. And I can't wait to give this away to one of you guys. But it's a really cool piece. Great price point. Not going to take up a lot of room. Uh, it is uh, almost 12 inches tall. Not quite, but almost 12 inches, if that gives you a, a little bit of an idea. Uh, again, you know, it's just a fantastic piece. Really like this one. So there you guys have it. What do you guys think of this thing? I think it's really awesome. Again, it's just a very fun statue. It definitely represents the movie that I love. 
and I love the black and red stylized uh, art design. I think that's really, really cool. It's something different, and again, it does capture it does capture that Jim Lee art, which is really cool. So again, you get the card, you get the backdrop, you get the cool base. Um, very limited posability, but still still fun. And again, it does have great shelf presence. So if you don't have a lot of room, a very large budget, this is going to be the piece for you if you can find one. Um, I, if it's still available, I will put a link down below for you guys uh, in the description. But it's really, really cool. I am going to be giving this away. And again, it's all thanks to Jimmy G. Thank you so very much again for being so kind, for donating this to the cause here on the channel. And it's again, again it's going to go to one of you out there watching. So it'll be available in a future show. Can't wait to give this away. Again, I want to know what you think. I think it's really awesome. Again, a great price point and just a fun piece from an amazing movie. Let me know your thoughts down below. Otherwise, thank you so very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you right here in the back cave. Bye, everybody. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Batcave.